visit ArcadeModUp.com. Today we're releasing our one or two screen back box for the Arcade Legends pinball machine. The back box comes fully built and ready for you just to plug in power and your HDMI cable. You will use the same four bolts provided with the stock back box to fasten this to the machine. Choose from just a 19 inch monitor or a 19 inch monitor with a 10 inch DMD screen. It comes with four inch speakers and the amp. In this video, we'll showcase the Arcade Mod Up back box along with some display setup information for your pinup popper, Visual Pinball, and Pinball FX3. With peace and love, our support team will not configure the software on your PC. That is up to you. We will deliver the back box ready for you to plug into your PC via HDMI and configure it how you see fit. With that being said, let's do the walkthrough. All right, so let's start with some basic setup here. So I have my um, USB cable running down into my computer there, as well as the HDMI cable. So that's how we're going to control uh, the main play field here. So what we're going to do is press the channel button. This is going to come up. And essentially, I'm going to use the up and down arrows here in the enter button. But you want that to say OTG, and then we're going to make it be our main display. And the degree, so... I highlighted that and I'm just going to push the button until I get to 90 degree. And then once I do that, I'm just going to press OK, highlight OK and press the button. And then you'll see now I have my computer in landscape mode. OK, so I'm going to right click with my mouse. I'm going to show you how I have the monitor set up here and go to display settings. This is how you want them organized um, to where they go right across the top. Number one is going to be your main play field here. Number two is going to be your 19 inch back box and number three is going to be the 10 inch uh, DMD. So this is important here. So what we're going to do is number one, set that to landscape and then make sure the scale is set to 100. If it's set to like 150 or 125, it won't be any good. So 19, eight, or, uh, 1920 by 1080 landscape, change the scale. And then for your back box right here, again, that's going to be lined up across the top. I might have just pulled that down some, but just so you guys can see. Again, this is going to be 1280 by 1024, landscape, and then 100% uh, here on the scale. And then on your DMD back box here, 100% uh, again on the scale, 1920 by 1080, and that will also be in landscape. So I'll pull this up a little bit or I'll cancel. I won't actually say this, but as I go over on my mouse, you can see that now it's going to go to that screen and then now it's going to go to that screen. So that's how that's going to be set up here. We have the audio running into the HDMI into the back box monitor, the 19 inch. And then that's how you'll control the amp, which I'm not, yeah, you guys can see the amp right there. So what you have to do to get your sound running through the speakers is come down into your sound settings here and just make sure that you have the 19 inch monitor selected and then you can also test it you know once it's selected so you can see I can hear that there I have it turned down just so the video doesn't mess up so that's how I have my monitor set up right there all right so just show you how I have my pinup set up so I'm going to come into the settings here and I'm going to go to the screens so once that pops up, this is how I have mine, forced on on the topper, forced back on the DMD, forced back on the back glass, uh, forced back on the play field. So um, now I'm going to go to configure right here. Okay, so my topper, you can see I stretched it halfway across the DMD screen there. So those are my settings. And you guys can pause this if you need to. Uh, the DMD is the other half of the screen right there. So you can see that. Then of course my, uh, those are the settings right there. And of course my back glass is now, it's the entire setup. So you can see there. And then of course my play field is the main, the main play field right there. That's how I have mine set up. So I can go and exit out of all of this. Okay, so just because we set up pinup popper doesn't mean whenever we hit a game that all of a sudden everything's gonna go exactly how we just set up those screens. You have to set up each emulator uh, individually. So I'm just gonna show you my settings on Visual Pinball X here. So I've opened that up. I'm going to preference and video. 
Sometimes this display up here in the top left will not be the same display that you think it is uh, compared to what Windows says. So you might have to mess around that some. Uh, but you can see here that I'm, I have this box checked and I made sure on this one it was display two. How I had it hooked to my computer will be the back, back display there. And then um, the rest of this, you guys can look that up. It's pretty much, that's how mine's set up. Uh, but it pretty much depends on, on kind of how powerful your computer is. Um, like I have another couple computers where I have this pushed up all the way on bigger tables that are 4K and such. But that's how my visual pinball set up. So for the back glass server, uh, this is how I have mine set up. So this is the main play field here. Now mine shows up as display three. Again, this won't always match what Windows says. So you might, if it doesn't, if it's not working like you think it is, change this display to a different display. But you can see I have the 1280 by 1024. And so that's how I have mine set up right there. All right, so I went ahead and booted into a table in a visual pinball. And I left clicked um, the play field here. And then I pressed F1 on the keyboard. And hopefully this will zoom in. That's how I have my settings. Um, for this. So just so you guys know, I'm using the external DMD. I'm going to show you the DMD location in a second, just so that way you can see it fills up half the screen. But since we're forcing the topper on, it'll continue to stay here. And then the actual DMD for the game using that external, at least how I'm using it. I'm just going to give you the positioning. So whether you use this or you use the freezy or whatever you use, um, you'll know the location for that, but you can see how that is um, configured there. All right, just show you the, the DMD INI file there, DMD devices, but that's how, that's where my values are. So that tells you, basically I'm over, you know, 32, 21 pixels uh, from the far left because you have three screens. So that's how far over I am uh, to get to basically this top corner. And then I'm telling it, go down to 589, only be 1896 across, start down here, and then only be X amount of tall. But those are my settings right there that I have this for this setup. So I'm going to show you my Pinball FX3 monitor settings. So you can see uh, this version I have here is um, cabinet unlocked. So I'm just going to select that and press enter. And you can see there the orientation, the repositioning is on. Sorry, I'm going to do this sideways just so you guys can get most of it in the screen. But this is the settings that I have. So now I'm going to continue to go down to where that back glass horizontal is. There you go. And that's the rest setting. So you can see my back glass horizontal size 1280 uh, and then by 1024. So that's how mine's set up. Okay, so I went ahead and booted into a uh, pinup popper here just to show you guys some of how this looks. So I have um, a lot of systems set up here. I have it working with the controllers. But really want you guys to see the monitors. So again, these all have pup packs. There's a 
you're the Star Wars. So if I back out of there, just to show you the visual pinball. Um, so I also have a, so there's a, right, there's a ton of tables on this, but I actually have all the ones that have the uh, pinup poppers in one folder here. So, that should go in there. So just to show you some of these as you go through, and then we'll play, I'll play one of these, but you guys have seen tons of videos. The main thing for this is about that back box and monitor to show you how great this looks on this Arcade Legends and how much flexibility you have. So again, this will just go on and on. Okay, well, we'll just play the start night so I can press the start button and then hit play game. It's going to take it a second. It's got to boot up visual pinball. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. So again, it's going to take it a second because it's got to load the visual pinball. I can add my coins. You can hear that. Press start. The plunger I do have working out. I don't know if you can see my hand over here, but I can pull that back. And then it works as expected. So you can see how great that works and how great it looks. So visit arcademodup.com and check out our back box for the Arcade Legends pinball. Make sure and like the video. Thanks.